Good morning, cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. This episode, in fact, today is Kevin's birthday, and so we will be giving him a locus because he likes those for purposes of pranks. And so tomorrow we will be apologizing to Kevin's mother. Uh, other than that, for this episode, we have the horse race. And oh boy, my rusty. Um, probably we're going to lose, or at least we're going to trip on one of the hurdles, but I guess we'll see. Fingers crossed and all that. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the last thing, These the radishes that I'm going to be planting in a minute will be the last thing we plant for summer. Uh, for this year. Because you may have noticed next episode is gonna be the end of summer, but of course, that's next episode. As for this episode, well, that's just, that's all. The, there's Kevin's birthday and there is the horse race. So let's hope that Red Hair and I can defend our crown, but... I'm not gonna be too upset if we can. Oh, you might have also noticed this tree right here is fully grown now. This, uh, this tree that I had thought might be, what was it, a cherry tree, is fully grown and it's not blossoming, which it should if it's a cherry tree, but we'll give it another day or two and we'll see if anything changes. And if not, then I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's a fall tree. Now, that said, I'm not going to chop down this fall tree, not yet, because it's not really necessary. Trees take slightly under two months to grow, and so we could replant this five days into fall and be perfectly fine. Hey! It's the birthday boy! Hey, Kevin! Uh, I have something for you, which I hope I don't throw in the river. Hey, Yuri, you look bored. And I very nearly might have if I hadn't delayed that. A birthday present! Yes! You're a great sidekick! I'm not your sidekick! Sorry it's not wrapped. Kevin should actually be near Max Hearts right now. Hmm? Ah, it's you. Please don't overwork yourself, Ray. Never. Never! I would never do such a thing. For me, I am honored. That's pretty nice. You're giving it to me? Uh, uh, thanks. I give you wrapped milk every single day, Amir. This this can't be a surprise for you anymore. Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be, like, working? Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Maybe. Oh, Ray. Hello. Oh, and Marion's another one that's at ten hearts, and so we don't need to be giving her anything. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh my, is this for me? I'm so happy, thank you. And what do you got? Green tea and corn soup. Well, no thank you. I will instead have this yaki soba. Our doggos is slacking. Oh. Hey, go! These doggos need to stop jumping down there. Oh, that's probably why there were so many animals outside the other day. Was because was because one of our doggos got stuck over here, and so he couldn't take them in. Hmm. All right. Well, now that we know, I mean, I guess we can check. It's really about all we can do. Anyway, so today we're shearing two sheep, and then tomorrow we'll be shearing three, and then we should be on a good sheep shearing schedule. A sheep shearing schedule, as the Brits might call it. See? I thought of an alliteration for it. Well, these radishes are done. And technically, theoretically, we could plant another row of radishes 
Except the problem with that is that we don't actually have enough radish seeds to plant a row of radishes. We could turn some radishes into seeds, but on the other hand, I would much rather just sell these radishes at the bazaar. Um, because the other radish seeds, the ones that we would plant today, if we grinded up some into seeds, um, they won't be done until after the next bazaar. And we're very, very certain to get the bazaar to 100% uh, by the bazaar after next, by the by the end of the first autumn bazaar. But we aren't necessarily certain to get it to 100% this bazaar. And so any little bit helps. And, you know, this, these nine radishes, they help. So we're going to go ahead and kind of focus on that first. Oh, gosh darn it. I was thinking, oh, wow, we haven't gotten this far without messing up in a while. And then it's just like, yeah, you shouldn't have been thinking that. Yeah. All right, and so once we get these three sheep sheared, then we should be on full rotation for, for being able to shear sheep every single day without having to shear all of our sheep in one day. Should be kind of a more even rotation of... Of sheep shearing more even sheep sh shearing schedule yeah so this is the third day and so far this tree is not is not blossoming so 99% certain that that tree is whatever that fall tree is blueberry I think that I was thinking it was yeah I've, oh yeah, no, I did look up uh, what time you need to uh, to get a winning result, and then I, I I couldn't find it. So unfortunately, I don't know what actually constitutes a winning time, or if we can even mess up at all, or if it has to be a very perfect run in order. Well, a very perfect run, a perfect run in order to actually win us. Yeah, win us the race. But again, you know, I'm not going to be too broken up because we did win it last year. Take me to the future of you all. Hello there, Ray. Hey. Lloyd, what's my rival doing here? I want to buy what you just shipped in. Understand. The jig is up. Just bring it out here. <sighs> oh, fine. Here you are. Indeed. How much? One million G. Okay. What? That's double what you paid for it. <laughs> Business is business. Hey, Raul. <laughs> I have tickets to a show that Marion is dying to see. <sighs> the show is sold out. If you cut your price in half, though, I'll give you the tickets. It's a deal! <laughs> Fine. Here's the money and the tickets. Good luck. to the show. <laughs> that Lloyd is a good guy after all. Well, I wish Raul luck as well. Hey there, working hard, Ray? <gasps> mm. I keep doing that. I keep accidentally jumping over the starting line. Keeps missing. And I did it again. I did it again. I was like, oh no, I'm late. And while I was talking about it, I did it. I. 
there may very well be something wrong with my brain. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. Hey, Claude, do you like spring tea? Hello there, how is work? Me, it's going quite well. It's been busy though. Spring tea? Ah, it smells wonderful. I'm so happy to get such a wonderful gift. Thank you. Well, okay then. I, I didn't know that Claude's favorite gift was spring tea, but... Okay. Um... Now we know Claude's favorite gift. Hello, Ray. How are you? Oh, is this for me? Oh, how nice. Thank you very much. A very expensive gift, though. That tea cost us, like, a few thousand G, if I remember correctly. Um, and it only unlocks with the Purple Wonderful, so that's also another barrier to actually gifting it to Claude. But at least we know what his favorite gift is now. And we can continue to just give him blue magic flowers. Well, once once the fall hits. So silly how once they're once like they've traveled enough distance or enough time has gone, I think it is what it is. Then they're just like frozen in place. It's like, yeah, they heard the bell and then now they're just they're so shocked they could not find us. Oh, is your horse ready to race? Um, I mean, our horse is ready to race. We aren't. I keep messing up. I mean, we're getting closer, but I don't know. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. And that starts with an herb salad, right? This herb salad is my favorite. I'm really touched that you remembered, honey. I did it again with the starting line. Ugh, yay. I really wish there was a way to quit out of the race. Just say, okay, this is a, this is a bus. Let's start over. I mean, not with the race, but with practice, yeah. That would be... that would be nice. Today's the horse race! Are you entering? Yes. Great! Let's get started! Hello, everybody! Welcome to the horse race! Here are the entrants! Number one, Ray! The defending champion. Number two, Bugsy! Number three, Marty! Good old Marty McFly. Although, frankly, I prefer his cousin Jones McFly, but that's aside from the point. They'll all be competing for the fastest time! Let the race begin! Alright, let's... let's not confuse the starting line for a hurdle again. perfect no we got one perfect run out of dozens of practice runs and then and then we get a perfect run at the end as, as like with, with the actual race amazing fantastic that's the end of the race here are the times ray 25.25 seconds bugsy 32.95 seconds marty 27.01 seconds so the results are third place bugsy second place marty and the winner is ray congratulations <laughs> 
What a race! You all did great! I hope to see you all at next year's race! I, I, uh... Silly me! I almost forgot! Here's your prize! Congratulations again! I can't like that. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. Luck off the charts. <laughs> Look at this chickens. As soon as it hits 9 p.m. They have an internal alarm. And they're just like, yeah, time for sleep. I gotta say, after the disaster that was our practice attempts with the racing, I didn't think there was a chance that we would win, but I should know myself better than that. I always, I always perform better than I do in practice, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to expand the bazaar to 100%, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.